See? We're fine. I, um... It's weird to me, uh, this is the first emulator I've ever used that actually saves things within the emulator. Like, hmm. the actual game playing. That has not been my experience before, so... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, no, all the Game Boy ones I used were save state only. The courtyard. Depending on what we find here, the entire incident could become clear. However... There's nothing left here. Yesterday. It seems so far away. Oh, that's me again. Sorry, I was looking at a text. The well in the courtyard, it's possible the body was dropped from there. In other words, the body being dropped down the well and then moved to the workroom could only have been done during the show. And the only one who could have done it is Simon Keyes. Was the body dropped down the well or not? This could be the decisive clue that we need to release to, to, to release the clues. <laughs> Before I continue with the investigation. Sorry, detective. I was sitting on that clue for a while. I should organize my evidence. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Let's see here. Doopy 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 doop. <laughs> hey, there's a grade here. Well, has run dry after all. They even put a lock on. Lock picking is one of my specialties. Wanna see? Bangs her stupid head key into it repeatedly. <laughs> there is absolutely no need for you to show off. Oh, come on! Don't be like that! Whoa! What happened, Kay? The lock is broken! Judging from the looks of it, it feels like it was broken some time ago. So, the lock was broken. This means that anyone could have dropped the body down this well. According to Judge Courtney's reasoning, Mr. Keyes murdered Knightley in the courtyard. And then, during the show, he disposed of the body in the well. I think so. Did he really use the well to move the body? Ah, oh, I know. Let's get Missile to help us out again. He should be able to track the scent of the body. Good idea. Let me contact Detective Gumshoe. Or Detective Doug's Doug Grug. Doug Grug. <laughs> Yes, sir! Detective Doug Grug here. Detective, I have a favor to ask you. I would like you to bring Missile to the prison courtyard. There's a Grug we need him to dug. <laughs> I know that like you need to help the help. Dr. The truth, Dr. the truth has been buried here. We just need to dug it up. <laughs> Sounds like you need the help of one of my seven secret weapons again, huh, sir? I thought Missile belonged to the police department. And also, I would like for you to contact a witness. Please contact Regina Berry of the Berry Big Circus and bring her here. Roger that, sir. I'll bring him over in a flash. That's the first chance I've gotten to bank on your miss per se from the last time we You're did right. this. So what should we do while we wait for Gummy? How about some hide and seek? What are you talking about, Kay? There's nowhere to hide here. I don't think that's the issue. Okay, during times like this, isn't it your turn to shine? Oh, that! You want me to recreate the crime scene? Oh, huh, yeah. it's been 30 fucking years. <laughs> huh? How do you do that? See for yourself, the great thief's secret weapon, <laughs> Little Lee! Gumshoe's accent is leaking into me. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Screams floating in midair. Just what are you doing, Kay? I'm entering the information needed for the simulation. Mr. Shields, this little thief is a tool that can recreate a crime scene based on the information it's given. Should I set up for how this place was like when we came here yesterday? Yes. I believe they were in the middle of taking down the set. We didn't pay enough attention to the well because I walked over to it immediately and investigated it, but they said I couldn't. So it's possible mm. we may have missed a clue. You can't investigate that until the Please second day of the case for no the reason. Too. There, there, and there. Data entry complete. Now to set the projection at maximum output. Dark skies of evening when no other bird dares take wing. What alone something something the text is too fast. Yeah, I just I don't care about K. That's fair. What? What just happened? I recreated the courtyard from yesterday based on the information I entered. 
This was a tool the previous Yadagarasu used. It's a device to run simulations to practice stealing things. But used in this manner, we can inspect this crime scene as it was in the past. Oh, but it's still only a recreation based on the information we have, so I can't recreate what I don't have information for, and if my information is incorrect, the recreation could come out strange too. In this case, since Kay had the photo, there should be no problems. Now, let's begin the investigation. Begin investigation! Oh, Ray is dead. This is a recreation. You re-examine things. You just like always. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the shadow realm. <laughs> yes, I know. First, I should start with that well. <laughs> Oof. I, I just, well, just never get tired of the Edgeworth <laughs> running strike. His cravat bouncing. <laughs> Oh, I missed. Something's different here. It's green now. Let's examine the area around the well. It holds green, the, the color of blood. <laughs> it holds the key to color this case. Of the Bobbley's ink. <laughs> it's a sturdy hemp rope. No wonder it's green. Looks like the rope that we used for tug of war. I'm not going to play tug of war with you. I didn't even say anything yet! There's a metal stake attached to the end of the rope. Perfect for stabbing ah. and body fishing. You use these to pin down the tent when you go camping. It doesn't seem like they'd need this for the performance. I wonder what it was used for. This is a metal weight. It weighs... It's hard to see in the recreation. Kay, do you remember? 33 pounds. I think it was 33 pounds. Not like that'll matter, I'm sure. Yeah. 33 lubs. <laughs> I wonder what such a heavy thing was used for. It doesn't seem to be directly related to the circus. What an ace attorney sentence. Hmm, there's some pulleys here. Oh, that's still me, sorry. They don't yeah. appear to be... <laughs> it's the first time I've done that in a while. Yeah, no, I can't give you shit for that. That's me all the time. They don't appear to be a pulley that was lift... Well, <laughs> <laughs> language is hard. I'm James Mouse and someone. I don't even know why. And there's nothing unusual about this area. Well, those are the cloths that. Yeah, I guess there were some in the other room too. The well was behind the stage, and that means. The stage was under the. Ray! Oh, man. Have the ability to make their text orange during the performance. This isn't looking orange. It's I didn't think I would get blue. a line since apparently I'm, I don't exist. Yeah, I don't know where you went. <laughs> these things around the well. Sorry, these things around the well. What were they used for? Logic! They don't seem to be related to the animal show. I agree. We can ask Miss Barry about it later. Is she still here? Oh, there you are. Yep, yep, there we go. A great thief's secret weapon. <laughs> I see. But isn't this bad? Using a thief's tool to aid in the investigation? <laughs> can, out of out of curiosity, can you try reading him as scoots? <laughs> yeah. Don't make such a scary face. It's all right. Uncle Ray's lips are sealed. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's for the truth, right? The evidence may very well have already been destroyed. In order to recreate the crime scene, we need her help. Why so serious? I'm the Joker. At times like this, a simple smile will suffice. Yes. Thank you very much. Hello, elephant. Um, oh, that's you. Um, what was the elephant's name again? She's a stick, the Asian elephant. She is evidence now. <laughs> I will put, I will eat her and put I her into my. Her. And put her into my I logic go to the crime brain. scenes. I eat the elephants. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's right. Something, something. Sorry, I double tapped. Maybe they just couldn't think of a good name, so they gave her a name that's easy to remember. Mr. Edgeworth, what a terrible thing to say about poor Astik. About poor Astik. That's all the information we can gather for now. The detective should be here soon, too. 
Okay, go ahead and shut down, little thief. All right, returning the area to normal. Do you think there's just a prisoner looking out their window as the world suddenly turns what green? The what, what the, the fuck? fuck? It's pressed up against the bars. Investigation complete. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. <laughs> hey, speak of the gummy. Aw. Detective Gumshoe. That was quick. Well, I couldn't keep you waiting for too long, sir. <laughs> I can't get used to, to... to Gumshoe's fucking rock monster sprite. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> 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 Does that mean now? Um, I'll do it. No okay. problem. It sounded like fun, so I skipped practice to come here. I guess I'll keep the valley girl. Thank you for your cooperation. First, detective, let's have Missile do some tracking. No problem, sir. Hey, Missile, over here, pal. Hey, what's he do, <laughs> pal? I said over here. Are we gonna get scary Missile again? What's the matter? Looks like he's scared of something, sir. Alligator. Ah! Alligator. Uh, a a alligator. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I guess he's scared of the alligator, sir. Good grief. It's just a loose alligator. <laughs> Looks like Missile won't be of much help to us. We'll have to defeat that alligator first. Oh, what should we do, Miles? Maybe we can ask Miss Barry for help. We'll have to defeat that alligator in logic, Jess. What is it? What is it? Is there something I can do? Do you want me to teach Allie a trick? Actually, she probably could. No, I just need- Oh, I was being sarcastic before? I just need you to tell me about the condition of the courtyard during the show. Looks like it's my time to shine again! Yes, if you please. <laughs> Tricking an alligator into, get, into getting out of the way, that's almost as good an Ace Attorney investigation puzzle as making your boobs bigger so people will cooperate like a... with you. Honestly, tricking an alligator out of the way is like a King's Quest puzzle. Mm -hmm. Recreation complete! This time you can see how the courtyard was during the animal show. This should be around the time the body was dropped down the well. Wow, cool! It's just like magic! <laughs> it's not magic. I just recreated the scene based on the information you gave us. See? Look over there! Hey, Bales! Oh, there's oh a... what the fuck is that? Hmm? The backstage area is missing. Well, Regina didn't help with the preparation, so she doesn't really know how it was set up. Yeah, I get it. You can't recreate what you don't have the info before, huh? I'm sorry. It's because Simon took care of setting everything up. Don't worry yourself none, Regina Pie. Miles is the one at fault here. <laughs> Rusty Pepper. <laughs> That's where we hang the disobedient animals. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? Mr. Edgeworth, I've recreated the show in progress. But I can also change it to how it was earlier when it was being taken down. I see. So we can examine the courtyard during the show and after the show. We can freely switch between the two different states. To change the recreation, select Little Thief on the bottom screen. Now, let's begin the investigation. <laughs> Come here, Hoffman. <laughs> uh. Yes, I have many friends here. I love this place. New friends, old friends, everyone's a friend here. Ugh. Did not think she'd be talking, and I'd put an ice cube in my mouth. Yesterday, Miss Warden introduced me to a new friend, Little Allie. The alligator who lurks in the pond in the courtyard. That pond. If you get too close, it feels like you'll get gulped. Um, I don't think Little Allie would do such a thing. No animal has ever been accused of murdering someone around me. Her stomach wasn't really feeling very well yesterday. I'm worried. Aren't you all worried, too? Right? Yeah, of course. We're all worried, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, ugh, don't drag me into this. Time to investigate the alligator. 
Never mind, there's chairs here. These chairs are all lined up in an orderly fashion. This pleases my cyborg brain. Uh, I guess there were a few empty seats during the performance. <laughs> intimate atmosphere and the closeness between the stage and the audience it reminds me of the karaoke tournament i entered when i was a kid karaoke tournament i was the runner-up dark skies of evening when no other bird did take wing no one in heaven <laughs> oh, don't, make me <laughs> don't tell me you actually sang that song of course this song rocks I'm surprised she actually made it to the finals. There were only two contestants! Did she steal second place? No, if she didn't steal first place, she must have gotten there fair and square. Kate's never stolen anything. Mm. A great thief secret weapon. <laughs> I see. <laughs> what? Isn't this bad? You Wait a minute, ain't that bad? <laughs> ain't that bad? <laughs> It sure is nice being the Phantom Thief! <laughs> Fuck, I was taking a drink. <gasps> Useless! <laughs> it's for the truth, right? The evidence may very well have already- Oh, we kind of already said this. But not the fir- This pond is where Warden Roland keeps her pet alligator, which is in no way ridiculous. Not at all. I guess those fish bones are the remains of her last meal. I don't think an alligator would leave such clean bones. That's from... <laughs> Kay, that's you eating small animals again. <laughs> Kay, I'd like you to recreate the moment of you eating a small no! animal. I can't. I don't have the information anymore to my stomach. I couldn't tell at all. That's because I'm a girl who's good with faces. Why don't I feel the least bit jealous? Where did I put my tablet dog thingy? I need to find more of my stylish nibs. It's the cage of the Asian elephant, Astic. The elephant is performing on stage right now, so the cage is empty. I wonder how Astic entered the courtyard. What do you mean, <laughs> how? You doing that, huh? You gonna ruin this? <laughs> well, no, I thought you walked away, so I was covering for you. I had my headphones on. I can still hear Shane. <laughs> And the fence is electrified. I don't think an elephant would enter from there. They could just turn off the electricity. If they did that, all the inmates would escape. I doubt anyone would escape while an elephant was entering. Hmm, I wonder how she came in. This requires some thought. She seems to be enjoying her little- bad at that. She seems to be enjoying her little brain teaser. I should just let her be. I'm tired of fucking dealing with Kay. Me too. Oh uh, boy. Sorry. Got a message from Plaster and I was looking at it. As you can see, he's totally scared, sir. I wanted him to track a scent, but it looks like that won't be possible. Mark! At this point in time, we still don't have enough information about this area. Don't steal information! I obtained it through my investigation and logic! No! You may act before thinking, as long as you don't interfere with the investigation. I wouldn't want to arrest you. Not like I actually have the authority. It is me, the bubbly is I also wanted to see Simon in action. Simon is really amazing, especially the part where he gets blown away! Blown away? That's the scene in question. At that point, the suspect in the role of the villain is blown away by the heroine's burning love and makes his exit. After being blown away, the suspect disappeared from the stage. Are you saying that the crime was committed during that time? Do you know how long he was gone from the stage? Oh, right. You're me now. Let me think. About 15 minutes or so? It's just as Judge Courtney said. But isn't it dangerous to be blown away by an elephant? It's all right. Astic is very gentle. That... <laughs> you can hardly feel her biting on there. <laughs> That's not who we're worried about here. 
During the first few practices, he was having trouble getting blown away. Then all of a sudden, he was able to be sent flying beautifully. He might be using some sort of device, but it's amazing. A device? Do you know anything about it? Um, I had no idea. Simon handled it all by himself. Mr. Keyes used a device for his stunt. Maybe the tools around the well are connected to this. Kay, I'd like to recheck the tools lying around the well yesterday. Can you change the recreation to after the show? Roger! No, uh, Miles. What? <laughs> That's my name. That is my designation. It's on my serial number. Beep, boop. The tools lying around the well. Could they have been part of his device? Phew, very likely. I wonder if it's possible to recreate the device. If you ask Mr. Keys, he should be able to tell you how the device was put together. No! Alright, I'll go ask him. No! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! About it. Hang on, I have to respond to Plaster because she just messaged me. Did you hear about Todd Habercorn? It's a Haber catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Uh. <clears throat> this is very important. And did you find out how the device works? a rope to hang some weights on the well's pulley. The weights were suspended inside the well. Then he ran the rope through two more pulleys and tied the end of the rope to his own body. So he uses the force of the falling weights to send himself flying. But what's to stop the weights from falling on their own? Oh, the dead body prevent... underneath them. Yeah! Hmm. In order to prevent that from happening, he used a stopper. Ooh, yikes. She responded, it's not even not funny, so I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Miss Berry didn't know anything about the well. That means Mr. Keys removed the stopper by himself? Correct. That's why a second rope was needed. This rope was attached to the stopper, and when it was pulled from the stage, whoosh ah! The stopper would be removed, and the weights would drop down the well. I'm definitely gonna steal this idea. But Yadagarasu wouldn't lose to something like this. Don't waste your time. Circus acts require extensive training. Even if you steal the device, you won't do you won't do any good. Then I'll train as well. Before you start training, could you first update the recreation? Ah, oh yeah. You wanted me to recreate the device that was used in the performance. Uh, first, let's return to the during the show scene. Yip, 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 yip. Next, I'll input the information of the device on the well. <laughs> now we can recreate the device Simon made. Fuck. So, this is the... Uh, I'm, I'm done corresponding, my bad. So, this is the device that Mr. Keys used. Shining shirt. Shining. Have ha to shop on the Using the falling weights? Forced to launch himself during his performance? Indeed. He would have to drop enough weights to excel his own body... Wait. To exceed his own body weight. In order to provide the strength needed to pull him off the stage. So he's 33 pounds. Oh, Jesus. Simon must have practiced a lot for this. I just want to look over my logic. Oh. What? Yo, what's up? Oh, I have to go through a secondary menu for this? You want to recreate the after the show scene from after? <laughs> Weird. All right. Just 
watching this alligator. <laughs> Making sure she doesn't do anything uh, suspicious. Maybe a leap, but... Nope. Fair enough. I can't see a clear connection between these two pieces of information. I am now weaker. I have expended information needlessly in my robot brain. Oh, I'm sorry. Were these not... I guess I should have... I forgot that the game needs to make these connections. Like, you need to be like, yeah, obviously these are related. I'm still not used to the logic system. What's up, bitch? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Haven't you noticed, Detective? What's strange about this weight is... I mean... The weight, the number... Like... I mean, the weight and the number are the same thing. I guess it'd be the number, right? Guys, that's doing someone. What strange is the number of weights? Sorry, is I'm. What your this... your next line will be. <laughs> I'm actually asking. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna add plaster to this call. Not maybe. Pr she probably won't hop in right now, but uh, in case she ever wants to in the future. Okay, that is actually important and might help the stream in the future, so I don't feel as bad about it. Okay, what's strange in other words is that, wait, I am professional. It's not heavy enough. In order to pull up Mr. Keys' body weight. Yeah! But... <laughs> Where did the rest of the weights? He's deflating like a Sorry, balloon. I sprung a leak. Yeah, but where did the rest of the weights disappear to? Looks like it's time to use my seven secret weapons, sir. Hmm. If necessary, I'll let the detective know. Well, I barely gleaned what I was supposed to from that cutscene because I was my information was fucking all over the place. All right. You know what is heavy enough? An elephant! No! <laughs> hmm. I can't believe it! God, I, I would love if the answer was that they had the elephant rigged up in the well. Come on, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> we call that a well elephant, sir. <laughs> yeah, what's up? You, know, you need me for a thing? You wanna. You, you wanna. You... Please, let me be useful. The way the way you trailed off there and then the happened, it's like, you need me to... <laughs> and then she just like disintegrates her. Disappears. What about that, like, cart of coal or whatever the fuck it is? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's full of elephant shit. Oh? This crate was empty in the recreation earlier. That's right. It was also empty in the picture I took. Ah, I'm sorry. That information is wrong. What do you mean? This crate contained Aztec's food. Human butt blood. <laughs> in the... <laughs> <laughs> what? Because it's an Aztec. It's, it's an Aztec human butt blood. <laughs> Jello, I didn't know you were a fan ah. of my college metal band. <laughs> <laughs> in the mo in the morning of the day of the show, all the apples were gone. I totally forgot about that. I'm sorry. Missing apples, huh? How do you like them apples? Hu <laughs> human joke complete. <laughs> You're one human joke per year, Edward. <laughs> yes. Bet, Back I to hibernation. With, uh, I bet you can logic that with Aztec. Oh, yeah. Plus, I would love it if the logic is just 
Astic ate the food that was for her. You are right, Professor. You say you love that like there's a low percent chance of that happening, <laughs> even though that's the logic system for you. The apples in the crate were probably eaten by Astic. But it's strange. Put, put, put apples in the crate. Uh, <laughs> put, put, put the apples in the crate. I remember leaving the crate out of reach from Astic's nose. Are you certain? Yeah. The crate was sitting full of apples on the night before the show. Context not required. Let me just open that in a new tab for later. <laughs> then the cart was moved to where her nose could reach it. With that many apples, it could not have been moved by the wind. Wind hates apples. Most likely, the crate was moved by a person. Prior to the show, the cart's position was already changed and the apples were all eaten. This appears to be the correct information. Please update the simulation parameters, Kay. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, the bubble I like her her sprite of her lifting up little thief. Mm-hmm. Recreation complete! No wonder I thought it smelled like animals. It contains the animal's food. Yeah. This was filled with Estes' apples. Well, that's not how you say her name, but yes. That's right. On the day before the show, it was full of apples. And in the morning, they were all gone. Oh, did you think of something? You could say that. <laughs> thought Bubble, imagining a smiling elephant. Hmm. <laughs> The apples were gone. No. <laughs> I am determined to kill myself. <laughs> she died, <laughs> If only I hadn't used so much processing power on my human joke. <laughs> oh, did... We can hang out later, Kay. All right. So do you think Regina just owns the one outfit? I guess, yeah. I mean, for the most part, everyone in Ace Attorney only owns one outfit. You right. Hmm. Secret weapons! <laughs> Missile isn't in the mood, but I've got my fishing rod ready to go. Man, if you, you give me, if you give me the fishing rod and I put it down the well, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you will perish, Gumshoe. I've never seen the detective's eyes sparkle like that. He's actually that rather handsome in the me. correct light. <laughs> <laughs> if I need... <laughs> That's because my eyes are made of diamonds. Another kind of rock. If need be, I'll let you know. For now, just stand by. <laughs> oh, I I guess I uh I guess I don't need that right now. <laughs> you know, I love that bit, but I'm actually really bad at doing the banjo kazooie noises. You just gotta give it to it. You just gotta you just gotta tell yourself you're gonna be good at it and go for it. If not, you're fucked. If, I wouldn't be surprised if Gumshoe canonically just has the one outfit. I think he does. He's really poor. Mm. Poor guy. Can you... No, not here. I wonder if you can go up on the stage. Can you, can you oh. check that, like, scaffolding to the side? Yeah. That's got a yellow outline. No, it might it's... just be the stage. It's, yeah, it's just part of the stage. Whoa. Okay. I think this will probably give me the inf... This is the stage where they put on the animal show. I put on a great beef show. I wonder if anybody would come. No, probably not. I'm pretty sure the police would show up. What, what about all those chairs in the, the bottom corner? right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn around, you Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, oh, boy. Oh, it's a little difficult to navigate. <laughs> These were used for audience seating during the show. Is that so? <laughs> Don't tell me you've never tidied up folding chairs before. I've delegated the task to others in the you past. You bastard! Mr. Edward. 
You should try doing some manual labor once in a while. What do I look like? A forklift? You're thinking of my mother. <laughs> Just, I can't get over his walking sprite. It's so goofy. Such partial effort. Hop, 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 hop. It looks so, like it looks like he read in a self-help book. What about what? the crates behind the elephant? Are those are those a thing? Because you the cart moved. Maybe. And it's not, like, blocking them anymore. No, it doesn't look like it. Nope, oh, not what I wanted to press. Metal detector. I don't. Maybe I can. Maybe not heavy maybe enough goes with the metal with detector. Enough, with not heavy enough, because it's like, where did the other weights go? Yeah, the maybe they're at the bottom of the well. Yeah, because they would have fallen down. Okay. They wouldn't have been pulled back up. Detective Gumshoe. It's time for the trapdoor in the fireplace. It's time for the secret weapon. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll find that trapdoor in the fireplace. <laughs> I was hoping for the metal detector. Sorry, I've only got this green ink. <laughs> well, it can light the well. Let's light it on fire. Before we begin the search, let me go over how to use the metal detector, sir. This metal detector uses sound. And this meter... Oh. Baps you in the face. Ow. To let you know Ow. how close you are. It's hitting my... Object. It's hitting my weenus. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Stop. When you get Ow. closer to a metal object... Ah. The metal detector will have a bigger reaction, like this. When, when you get the biggest reaction, you'll discover stuff. that Ray is secretly a robot. Well, that's not so surprising. He is my He's uncle. Friends with my dad, yeah. And that's basically, yeah, whatever. I'll write these down on the back of this napkin. Yeah, there's a reaction here too, sir. Let's check it out. Huh? I found these in the clumps of grass here, sir. These are the weights used for that hoisting device. Were these intentionally hidden? There's four of hey them. Hey guys, in all, did they sir. put the alligator in the well? How many weights would be enough to lift Simon? So that the other way. Light. So, the other weights that were hidden used in the device that was the hidden device. <laughs> Why were they hidden over here? <laughs> Beep boop short circuit. <laughs> Smart to have Gumshoe hold the detector I'm since really he's really earning my keep today, aren't I, sir? Chat. Smart to have Gumshoe hold the detector since he's rock and not metal. The <laughs> 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 ah, Th That scared me, pal. Huh? <laughs> Rock monster form activated. <laughs> What's the matter, detective? It looks like the metal detector is reacting to this alligator. The alligator was a robot. <laughs> Are you sure it isn't just reacting to the weights? It's a different reaction, sir. Oh. Mm. It's definitely coming from the alligator. <laughs> the alligator ate all of the chisels. It's gone. It used its robot alligator cloaking device. <laughs> the alligator was a robot is more of a latent twist than an Ace Attorney yes. one. Uh, I don't think so, Kay. Huh? Can't if any you do that, Star Fox? If anything, I think Allie looks a little under the weather. Allie, I suppose... I remember her from my youth. I suppose hmm. that was what World and Road Room called... <gasps> you guys! You guys, there's a... There's a there's a gecko on my window. I haven't had I haven't had geckos for like four months because it's been so cold. But it's been like seventy for a couple of days, so I guess they're waking up again. Yay! I love the geckos. Welcome back, geckos. All oh, right, I'm Regina. I think she might have eaten something bad. Well, I guess the metal detector could be reacting to whatever the alligator ate. Oh, maybe she ate one of the weights. I doubt oh, that even an alligator could ingest a 33 pound weight. But what could the metal detector be reacting to? And regardless, why were these weights hidden? Oh my god, was it the fucking keys? No, hmm. no, the other guy had the keys. Maybe we should take a look at the device in the well. Kay, I'd like you to recreate the after the show scene again. <sighs> Sworn to carry her burdens. Hmm. Yeah. 
I won't rest until I've done the usual thing. Oh, I can deduce. What is there to deduce? Well, uh, we already did this. Okay. Well, what did I just get? Three pulleys, two ropes, the well, and some, some weights. weights. So where's the other rope, I guess? I do have a rope. Yeah, that was the rope that was used to tie up, or not tie up nightly, but it was in the recreation room. Deduce! This is a rope! Eureka! This piece of evidence is a rope! Oh, wow! Could you be more precise about where the contradiction is? Nah. I think you're full of shit, sir. Hmm, Gumshoe, Gumshoe knows me well. I am quite full of shit. That's Hang on. what powers me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just a second. Hey, da, 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 da. Guys, I haven't been able to make any very good cups of tea lately. It's, it's unfortunate. What? Yeah, get out of here. Oh. Uh, we're a step ahead. Uh, that's a frustrating problem to have. It's a good one that I look- it's good that I looked it up, though. If nothing else, I've been getting really good at being like, I think I'm gonna fuck this up. Eureka! Eureka! Of course, you have to deduce Simon's device while looking at Simon's device! <laughs> Instead of just investigating it, there is a major discrepancy. One of the ropes is missing. Without it, the device the device won't work. Huh, I wonder what happened to it. Where did the missing rope disappear to? It's possible that we hold the piece of evidence that shows where the rope went. Which piece of evidence shows where the rope went? Probably My prosecutor's badge! <laughs> The rope we found with the dead body. Ah, oh, that's frustrating that they don't just let you present the rope. Yes. It could be the other piece of rope that was used here. Then, does that mean? Not a question. This rope was attached to the weight. However, the weight was not one of these metal weights. These weights were hidden in the grass and replaced with something else. Sibri just electing not to read any of this anymore. I'm sorry, I was just distracted. Okay. What was tied to the rope we found in the workroom? And if we can recall that, then the answer should be clear. The weight that was dropped in the place of the weights was the weight. There's the key in the safe. <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the body is this. I just want to make sure. Okay, yeah. It's probably a crime scene note. You never know. What dropped down the well? was none other than Knightley's dead body. Proving eh? Courtney's Mr. accurate. Mr. Knightley's body was used as the weight? Yes. The weights were replaced with Knightley's body. Mr. Keyes used the devices to launch himself off the stage. Ah. When the rope that was tied to him was undone and let go, both the body and the rope dropped down the well. It's fucking ridiculous that this is just such a weird case. The rope wasn't used to tie up Knightley. It was used to suspend him inside the well. It also explains why the other weights were hidden. Ah, so that no one would find the place where the weights were discovered. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the killer was the one who hid those weights. But Miles, wasn't Knightley boy stabbed in the neck with a murder weapon? He was suspended in the well. There wouldn't be blood. Wouldn't there be blood at the bottom of the well? The killer was also aware of that. That's why they used this item. Which item did they use? Oh my god! Oh, fuck! The sheet we found near the body. It was used to wrap up the body. I see. Looks like all the pieces are starting to come together, eh? He's a 20-something horse. But 
see who's at the body. Definitely came from the well. If that's the case, wouldn't that mean Simon is the killer? No, that's not necessarily the case. Uh, but yesterday, Judge Courtney said... If Mr. Keyes was the killer, would he have needed to set up such an elaborate device? I guess you have a point. Mr. Keyes was only responsible for dropping the body during the show. In other words, it doesn't matter where the real killer was or what they were doing during the show. Until now, this placed the doubt on the people who did not watch the animal show. It's true. He also suspected Mr. Dogen. The killer's true intent was to make us think that the murder occurred during the show. In other words, they used the device on the well to create a fake alibi. Miss Barry, do you know where the device on this well was set up? Or when? I didn't actually read it. Um, let me think. The day before the show? I think it was at night. We all started preparing at 9 p.m. We finished around midnight. The killer replaced the weights with the dead body afterwards. Seems ridiculous no one would have noticed. Did Dogen know about the device? No, even if he knew about the device, he wouldn't. it wouldn't have been possible for him to use it. Shit! You can't teach a dog to suspend a body in a well. In other words, Dogen is not the killer. Regina Barry! <clears throat> Dick Gumshoe! Dog Grug! <laughs> Bad! <laughs> Bad! <laughs> it's fucking golem bait. <laughs> Long dialogue. Oh, you need to go before the show then. Before I don't know if I can actually. No, I don't think there is a before the show. <sighs> it's during and after. Okay, there's something to see here. It's the fucking stopper. Mr. Keys used this well to perform the stunt where he gets blown away by the elephant. He used the two ropes quite skillfully. Uh, two ropes? Hmm. Ah, okay. I should use the little thief's new function to change the recreation and double check. Okay, so that's hinting at what we've already done. Um... Looking at this weight, you can really feel the weight of Simon's hard work on your chest. That might be pneumonia, Kay. Is that so? I don't oh. feel anything at all. I've never felt anything. Uh -huh. I am a robot. Ah, uh, that's too bad. I'm a robot. What? Rome. Huh. I do everything in my power to stop What a you. weird dialogue. Yeah. They're all like that. These two have the strangest dynamic. This sheet. It's the same one as the one from the workroom. Is this the same one from the workroom? It's, it's yes, just... it's the one from the workroom. It's the fireplace! Could it be the... Could yes. Could it be the one from the fireplace? Sorry, we got confused because of all those bags. Yes, but why is there one down here? I wonder why there's one here. Mm. <laughs> why does it feel like she's stealing my thoughts? The witch. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Street rat. <laughs> Okay, so these are all just hints for the bit we figured out just now. Yeah. So if, if, can you look at the stage bit? The, the little castle tower? Hang on, give me a second. I'm just cheating. Rope. But he did that. Present. Uh. What? I guess we skipped something somehow. Okay. <laughs> you sound a little defeated there, buddy. Uh, 
Man, you tried everything with the crate of apples except the one they wanted. I, I'm pretty sure I tried this one too. It's just it got updated. You did. Yep. This cart was moved the night before the show. The body was also switched the night before the show. I don't think it was just a coincidence. Keeping that in mind, the question now becomes, why was the cart moved? The cart used to be in front of that door. I can think of one reason why. Somebody open that door! Knock, knock! <laughs> Alright, let's hurry up and... Hello, it is me, the murderer. <laughs> the door is locked! Let's ask a guard. Hey, Mr. Guard! Oh, hi, Whoa. I just... Uh, I've been here. Yes, what is it? That was fast. Hey, hey. It's me, Jay Albert, again. <laughs> <laughs> you there. Where's the key to this door? The warden's in charge of it. I'll get it from her right away. Huh? The warden is in charge of the keys here. How suspicious. Without the warden's... For a warden to have keys in a prison. Ridiculous. Without the warden's permission, this door can't be opened. Without the warden's permission, you're gonna have warden. to. You're gonna have to negotiate. <laughs> oh. I read that as Sensora. It's Sensora. It's a and send his brother oh, well, that makes sense, then. It's a circuit breaker panel, and this must be the breaker room. On the night before the show, somebody came into this room. I wonder why they would come here. I don't think anyone would confuse the breaker room with the break room. It was definitely to operate the circuit breakers. Um, so someone came in here to shut off the power to something. Was there anything uh, wow. that had its power shut off? What could have had its power shut off by the breaker? The victim! The doors... The victim! <laughs> He no. was a robot too. Uh, it could be the this doors. Is camera, dude, because they, they had to Oh, the you're camera. right. Yeah, they had that three hour gap. The security camera footage had a three hour gap. Ah, a 25 minute you... gap! <laughs> Knightley wasn't murdered security. until Christmas Day. Do you know what that means? It wasn't Christmas Day yet. The second break is It's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. <laughs> I, I really want to break into that Larry Butt song, but I can't remember a single line from it. It's highly possible. Was this the killer's handiwork? With the camera down, it'd be easier to move about. The killer would have a major ish advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> if that's the case, the killer was the person who tripped the breaker. The person in charge of the key to the breaker room is... It couldn't be. Masaka, what? No! It was A missile! Woman! <laughs> yeah, to be. Twas beauty killed the reason? beast. Mm, yummy. Investigation complete. <laughs> I'm first to the scene as always. Good morning, De Mr. DeBest. What? You? How did you get here before me? Greetings, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I see you arrived early. Or maybe it is you who are late, Judge Courtney. Fuck you. I have... Okay. <laughs> I have many matters which require my attention. I have no time. I couldn't get that line. Unlike a certain prosecutor who was taken off the case. Mm. Oh, my apologies. I had forgotten that you were assisting the defense attorney. An assistant can never be the best. You've fallen like the rest. You just say whatever you like, don't you? <laughs> Let us begin our examination of the courtyard, Sebastian. All right, now call the men over. Hold it. That will be unnecessary. What? We've already finished the investigation of the courtyard. You've been bested. Bested? Me? <laughs> Judge Courtney. Die. <laughs> <laughs> Your reasoning from yesterday. Watch me shatter it to pieces. 
I would advise you to choose your words more carefully. Have you forgotten that the fate of your badge rests in my hands? <laughs> but the fate of your life rests in my eye lasers. I never had- Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I have never had enough- I have had enough of such coercion. Can't you think of some other way to threaten me that does not involve my badge? Oh, oh no! no! Despite my repeated warnings, you show no signs of reflection. It seems I must remind you once more. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee can't leave someone such as yourself unchecked. Objection! Neither- I seriously read that as- Neither the fuck of my badge nor the <laughs> actions of the committee will impede my progress. Proving Mr. Keyes' innocence, that is all that concerns me. Your words are like those of a defense attorney. If you are willing to go that far, then I'll show you no leniency. In the name of the goddess of law. DIE! I shall turn your words against you. And at that moment, you will forfeit the title of prosecutor. You shall regret this. Oh, we're doing I, I this? I have one eye. Instead of going to just confront the bad guy, huh? Alright. You... I can't get over her boob. Yeah, it's awful. I shared my reasoning with you the day before. Since Mr. Elbert did not see the body when he passed through the tunnel, it could only have been dropped down the well during the show. The only one who could have performed such an act is the suspect. Yeah. Well, naturally you have evidence to support your reasoning. Of course she does! Who do you think she is? Earlier, I received the official autopsy report. <laughs> Babysitting that kid must be difficult. The time of death was the night before the body was discovered. Man, the worst thing about her boob, sorry to keep going back to it, is that because her lightning bolt bang kind mm. of goes over it, I keep seeing it as like another line of the sketch art that they were like, that's probably where her breast should go. But like they didn't go with that one, the like the curvature oh, of the bang. You know what? You're definitely right. And instead, they're like, "Let's go insane." Oh, huh. In other words, the day before the show, the cause of death remains unchanged: a stab wound four inches deep. Four, four inch inches. Four inches deep, huh? Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Simon Keys was not present on the stage for a period of fifteen minutes. There was sufficient time for him to drop the body down the well. She has not investigated the courtyard yet. That means... Huh. Seems there is a hole in your argument. You seem quite confident. Can you present evidence to support your claim? Of course I can. And I will. Rebutal. <laughs> I can't keep doing that. That takes a lot of air. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. God, I know, I know so much. It's like weird to even start to attack this. So I can check this. Okay. I don't think you're gonna get into the circuit breaker. I, I don't either. I mean, I'm, I'm just starting from the back. It was dropped down the well during the show, so I feel like that's not the right statement to present that. I'm not sure. I, I was just What's looking over. This? I was looking over oh. my evidence. So that's probably the incorrect statement. Oh yeah. There is no one else who could have committed the murder. I heard that Miss Barry was present on stage at all times. A great number of prisoners were also watching the show. Oh, uh, we have to we have to mention that the um the alibi of watching the show is no longer relevant. Ah, uh, okay. Even the prisoners who did not see it have sufficient alibis. How about the guards? The what? Hmm. Along with the warden, nearly everyone was watching the show. Yeah, man. How about the guards? But there must have been a chance for even one of them to approach the well. During the show, none of the guards left their posts. That much is certain. They all testified as such. Ah, uh, she's left no room for oversight. Do you finally admit that only Simon Keyes could have been the criminal? Yes. Game over. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Hmm. Judge Courtney is not... Oh, yep. Okay. So, there's a bit of a gap in her argument, right? 
I should review the evidence we obtained in the courtyard. That's what I was doing, but then Aram was mean to me. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Careful there. So I guess, yeah, it seems like the real issue here is that he didn't actually die during the show. Or, Maybe. well, no, there, she's not claiming he died during the show, but that that only Simon could have dropped the body. So it seems like the issue is that there's no reason he would have done it in this weird, elaborate way. Okay. So, could I only think been, it would well, be He wasn't he dropped down him. during the show, is the thing, so... Well, he, you know, he was dropped oh, during yeah, the show. Right. It's it's just that Simon wasn't the one who set that up. So yeah. I think it, I think you present it the last one, where she says, oh, "Therefore, it had to be Simon." Oh wait, there's a statement after that. Oh, did you get a new statement when you pressed? No, there's no statement after this. This just resets because you. Oh, that just resets. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I think it's this, um, and Simon's device. I'll try it. Objection. Yeah. Okay. OBJECTION! I don't get it either. Unfortunately for you, Judge Courtney, your argument doesn't hold any water. Just like the well. There was a device- Just like your boob. Excuse me, Edgeworth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you finally have a reason to take- like, a legitimate reason to take away his badge. <laughs> there was a device set up around the well here. What's this device of which you speak? Are you aware of the stunt in which Mr. Keyes is blown away by the elephant during the show? I have heard of it. It would have been right before he exits the stage. He tied one end of a length of rope to himself, and the other end to a set of weights. He was able to perform the stunt by dropping these weights down the well. OBJECTION! <laughs> Wouldn't he have spent the whole place suspended in the air? Hold it, just calm down, kiddo. That's why he had a strong Funny. a stopper attached to the weighted end. The stopper was removed by pulling another rope. Around the well, we found evidence that the weights were switched with the victim's body. This was done by the real killer in order to shift suspicion away from them. Hmm. I don't know why I'd be inclined to believe that. Judging from the time of death, the murder was carried out in the early morning of the show. The true criminal had until the time the show started to set up the evidence. Objection! But didn't Simon <laughs> Keyes make that thing? And since he was also the one who used it, he is the best suspect. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Don't you agree? Objection? No. Still. Do you, do you like this guy, by the way, Joel? I, I, I like love him. reading him. Yeah. <laughs> if Mr. Keyes were not the murderer, he would not have needed to do that. Miss Barry. Yes? Was there anyone else who knew of the device he set up? Well, let me see. Since we had to get everything about our show approved by the people here at the Whoop, clicked off the window. Silly Regina. Whoopsie. I'd say there were others who knew about it. Look at my smug baby doll, ugly ass face. And there you have it. <laughs> Overruled, I see. You have indeed performed a thorough investigation, which is why I am even further perplexed. Why do you not use your efforts for justice? My actions are not just? Who made that decision? A judge. Me and my big stick! <laughs> Shut who up! Made that, who made that decision? Ares, the god of war? Wh what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just kind of stops for a second. You cannot understand even that. Even you now. You you can tell that I am, I am as just as sure as the weight of scales... If, hang on. There's a joke and I'm going to do it. I am as just as the weight of the scales of justice are imbalanced, much like my imbalanced breasts. Providing support. Thanks to for sitting through that. Thanks for coming to the stream, everybody. Being prosecuted. <laughs> it's quite unnatural. This goes against the rules. I am merely choosing to do what I think is right at this particular time. I travel down the road I have chosen. Your comprehension does not matter in the least. However, if anyone intends to interfere, I will shoot them with my lasers! Don't do that! Perhaps this is a calling from the goddess of law. If you intend to rebel against her divine will, 
I will have no choice but to hand down my verdict. She is like Nayuda if he was less the worst thing ever. Pay heed to my words. I have one more reason to suspect Simon Keys of murder. I think she's like a little more reasonable just because when she goes off on her feel, she usually then follows it up with oh, here's an I, actual piece. I of actually meant more that like the holier than thou aspect. Uh, I like I like yeah. her. Um God, I hate Niyuta so much. He's so terrible. If the body came from the courtyard, how was Mr. Knightley brought here from the detention center? Only Simon Keyes could have provided such an opportunity. Because of this fact, I find it most difficult to suspect any other party of this crime. While Simon Keyes was moving supplies for the show, he visited Mr. Knightley's cell. Does that not strike you as odd? Why else would he have brought a large covered cage with him? Oh, that does seem pretty suspicious. Mr. Keyes is guilty. You win. <laughs> it is entirely possible that he carelessly brought it there. If that is possible, then it is also possible that he was assisting in the escape. Am I wrong? I suppose I must refute her theory with evidence. Same shit as always. I feel like I gotta somehow bring up the gap in the security camera. I don't know. Maybe not yet. Well, so either the body... So he brought... Where did he bring the cage? I didn't see the earlier part of this. Uh, he had this big fucking box that he wheeled in and talked to Knightley uh, in the detention center with the cage in front of the door, obscuring it. Uh, and then he walked out and brought the cage to this courtyard. Okay. So, either... So, like, if... So, either the body was in there already and he was unwitting when he brought it, or the body wasn't actually in there. So, um... I assume it's the gap that the gap in the footage is related because well the gap in the footage is definitely related if the body wasn't actually in the cage i don't re remember the uh, details of these cases by the way so i'm guessing as good as you what what is the evidence we have that relates to the gap in the footage okay uh we have Security footage, which uh, just says timestamps off by three hours. I think that's pretty much it. Um, the circuit breaker, which I think is too far elite for right now. Yeah, also the question is, was it you? Oh yeah, okay, okay, that's possible. If the body came from the courtyard. And, and Simon said that when he went in, he like talked to Knightley and Knightley was still alive, right? Yeah, yeah, according so to I him. I think we have to assume that Knightley was not in the cage because Simon yeah. is assuming he didn't smuggle him out intentionally. Um, then, huh? then he was murdered after that and brought. The answer to everything is chess. Hmm. Well, let's let's try and think what are we trying to contradict um how was he brought here from the detention center only simon could have provided such an opportunity which can we can we press that yeah i guess i haven't pressed yet are you certain that he was the only other person who had the opportunity have you forgotten this is a prison Due to the constant supervision, it would be impossible to do anything unusual. Hold it! Even though this prison has maybe the worst fucking supervision technology I've ever seen in my fucking life. Then wouldn't it be the same for Mr. <laughs> Keys? Okay. Overruled. The warden has shown favor to the Berry Big Circus. Simon Keys is a circus member. Miss Berry is a prince. Apprentice, no less. It could only have been him. He was able to move about freely within a facility. Objection! It seems that you forgot to mention that. Gotcha. Shut up! 
The word forget does not exist in my dictionary. Seriously, what does it mean? Then it would be prudent I, for I you to... I don't understand, please. Th then it would be prudent for you to add this to your argument. Mr. Keyes may have been the only person who could move around freely in the prison. But on the day of the murder, there was a gap in time missing from the surveillance records. During that time, anyone could have done as they pleased. Do I have proof of this gap? You wanted the gap? I'll give you the gap. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, probably the camera right now. Yeah. I was just looking at the description. <laughs> Mr. Keys wasn't the only one who had the opportunity. Who else could have had the opportunity? The timestamp on the security camera is off by three hours. This means there was a three hour gap in time. He's a stand user. During that time, anyone could have done it. Even I could have done it. That's right. Guilty. Uh, <laughs> guilty. Mm, guilty. If that were the case, then the murderer would have created the gap in time intentionally. It would not have been a simple camera failure. Are you saying that is possible? It's possible if you had access to this. A wow. bell! <laughs> dingle, dingle! In this courtyard, we found the circuit breaker for the security camera. And it was possible to access the breaker room both before and after the murder. Feels like a dumb idea to have the circuit breaker in the prison courtyard. It sure fucking is. Hmm. Unfortunately, it appears that you've fallen short of your intentions. Mr. Edgeworth hasn't fallen short of anything. Hmm. <laughs> So, can you explain how the murderer obtained the key to the breaker room, then? Oh, yeah, that's right. It was locked, wasn't it? Warden hangs onto the key for unlocking the door, which she could have done. <laughs> the breaker room has great importance, even in a prison. There is no one who would be able to obtain the key so easily. Objection! Objection! You know, if we just walk over to the prison person, and we didn't even have to do this entire testimony, we could just have... Saved an hour. Well, I can think of someone. What did, uh, what did you say? I said I could think of someone. This person, the, One more time. the murderer, was able to get the key. They didn't even need to steal it. Objection! There can't be anyone like that! Besides, the breaker to the electrified fence is in that room too! Only one person could have done this. I didn't want to believe it myself, but I trust that my logic is sound. The person who used the key to enter the breaker room is Detective Dugged Mugly. God, that's just funny call every him, time. Did you just call him Ducked Mugly? Dugged <laughs> Mugly, but yeah. The murderer is Missile, Missile. the Dog. Warden Roland. Oh my, what an energetic little puppy! That's because this dog is extremely fond of sweets. Seems to detect a sweet scent on you. Oh, heavens no. I'm not even wearing perfume or anything of the sort. What the dog detects is the sweet scent of death. <laughs> How poetic! However, that does not imply that I committed a murder? That's what I think. Edgeworth, are you serious about your statement? Oh, how amusing! The very thought of a warden committing a murder? It sounds like something I'm like not a, a prosecutor. Precisely. Your reasoning is in contempt. Hold it! Nothing of the sort. I did not want to believe it myself, but based on the evidence, I have no choice but to believe it. This evidence proves that Warden Roland is the murderer. I mean, it's a circuit breaker, isn't it? Am Probably. I, am I nuts? That's the only thing that, that pertains to her. No! Well, this proves you are the murderer! Okay. Maybe the sweet scent? Ow! Okay, okay, fuck, let me try again. Nagoo! Nagoo! Missile's reaction. Okay, okay, yeah. Really? Okay, alright. No, it was not Warden Roland. You are the murderer. It's you... the fox! 
You. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I literally forgot. Uh, what I don't know if it's the it, the sweet scent is on the body info, right? I I guess. Take that. Take that. The smell gave you away. Though it would have yesterday and didn't. Okay, all right. As, oh God, as you can plainly see, someone has oh, taken Jesus. notice and he's very mad. This police dog is terrifying. <laughs> he tracked a sweet, I know. He tracked a sweet smell that came off of the body. Oh God. And right now he is telling us that that same sweet scent is also on board and rolling. I have not showered in three <laughs> days. It is my God, you see. You're a cruel one to accuse me of murder based on something like that. Right, Justine, darling. Oh, she does stink. It appears that Judge Courtney has reached the same conclusion as I have. Oh, that's me, sorry. Mr. Edgeworth, this couldn't have been just a coincidence, could it? The keys of the breaker room and the same scent on the body. If it were only one, it could have been as such. It appears we have reached a conclusion. We should now listen to what the warden has to say. Indeed. Until we do, we cannot close this case. No one really had the intention of doing that. Oh my goodness, everyone with such scary faces. Especially Missile. Oh yeah, no, I don't want to look at that dog anymore. So, I'm the only one who could have been the murderer. Uh, it just cannot be. Why can't I Why be I the killer? Why I can't kill be the killer? <laughs> That's my light novel title. I heard all about the case from Justine Darling here. Had I committed the murder, I would have taken place inside the holding cell. But I couldn't have moved the body. I never went into the prison. I was caught up in my work until the show I was stuck in my office. Check up on it if you like. You'll find there's no record of me entering the prison. I don't know what reasoning you had, but I can say for sure, I cannot be the killer. A mess of did you, pal? You got me a cup. You're right, John Tron. <laughs> oh, heavens, it's <laughs> impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I already told you I never went to the prison. Do you really think I am the murderer? Definitely. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Why don't you change What's oh, done. Best murder, best murder. What what <laughs> sort of person would <laughs> For what reason would I commit a murder? Anyone can be a murderer for the right oil. <laughs> She wants us to check Opens the Opens the records. door to the prison and, like, jet beckons to Edgeworth. You coming in, Mr. Brame Yumla? S sorry, what, what, I'd, I'd like to press that statement. <laughs> <laughs> she does seem confident. For now, all we can do is listen to her and try and draw out more information. I do hope you understand, Mr. Edgeworth. Why I can't be the killer again? So her contention is that she couldn't have moved the body to the courtyard to set up the thing. You did not enter the prison from the entrance. But what if there was another route? Oh my, are you suggesting something like a secret passage? Yeah, I mean, we found one yesterday. <laughs> I don't know if anything like that exists. It is my firm belief you did possess an Eltunia to root. <laughs> That, <laughs> that root was neither the entrance nor a secret passage. That food. That root, which would you use to smear? So it goes from it's... the it goes from the holding cell to the oh. the barbed wire fence. You would have moved nightly to your office first. This office leads directly to the garden side of the courtyard. You, you missed this, Aram, which is why I just plowed oh. right through it. If you had moved through here and passed the barbed wire fence, you would have arrived at the prison without passing through the entrance or a tunnel. Wow. Well. <laughs> I wonder what Mr. 
just to add to what this say. I have not been listening. My ears are covered. My ears, they are too full with fur. My ear, as what Isabel would say, my ears are just too fluffy and muffy. Too fluffy and muffy. <laughs> These are my assistants, <laughs> fluffy and muffy. My coat has a name too. Yeah, obviously she couldn't have passed through it like that. <laughs> The current to the fence could have switched off at the breaker room. And you were the only one who had the key, Warden Roland. Overruled. Most amusing. However, the breaker room is located on the prison side of the courtyard. It probably the shouldn't be. Yeah. It's almost like this is all set up completely wrong. How would the warden have accessed it from the detention center? Ah, quite right. Got you there, Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> That's... Uh... There is no record of her passing through the prison entrance. Die! It would not have been possible for her to turn off the fence breaker. But Warden Roland was the only one who had access. Don't let this phase you, Miles. But if I don't have a solution for this, she'll get away. Now, Uncle Ray never <laughs> said don't <laughs> think, you know. <laughs> It's just not good to be so stubborn about it, that's all. But no matter how you think about it... <sighs> Warden Roland couldn't have done this alone. Huh? Prosecutor Edgeworth, if you have failed to come up with a new... Objection! I, got, I, I figured it out! It it no! I... Shut up! Interrupting my judgment only to be silent? Without thinking, I just blurted out objection. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking one sequence, and I think it's either case one three or case one four, where it's just like objection. You just stay in that yes. my time. Ob no, it's not even that. It's just a objection. Uh, yes, Mr. Wright, I don't have anything. Objection, Mr. Edgeworth. I thought if I said objection, I might think of something. <laughs> yeah. I have to answer. I won't let this end here. My reasoning is not over yet. So, how did she use the breaker without leaving the detention center? Shit, I'm gonna go shit. get a soda. I'll be back in half a second. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> uh, it's perfectly possible with this method. What made it possible to turn off the breaker? Uh, I'd imagine the timing. It happened... <laughs> It, like, it happened at, like, 6 in the morning. Yeah, but they're saying that she would have had to re-enter through the actual... Yeah, you're right. To leave a record. She was indeed impo- Oh, it was indeed impossible for one person. But what if there were two? Exactly. Just what I expected from you, Miles. Yes. You had an accomplice on the prison, so okay. Overruled. Enough. <sighs> I'm in... I'm disappointed in you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. What's that, pal? You're making I'm fun of Mr. Edgeworth? I'm having an opinion! Edgeworth. Shut up, detective! The inmates at this prison all wear bracelets! If they try and go where they please, they will set off the alarm. Ah! So you've noticed. This is a prison, after all. Oh, is saw it her accomplice because he had a broken one? <laughs> so, so why didn't anyone notice Aylbert? The only ones allowed to move around freely are the animals. Where's the monkey? The monkey was the murderer. Hi there. <laughs> but it's still possible that a person did it. Oh, okay, I'm just not oh. listening to you. Excluding the inmates and the guards, just what kind of person would you say it was? A very hairy one. We can't exclude the inmates and guards just yet. There was only one person. One whose movements was not restricted. This evidence shows that there was someone in the prison who could move around freely. Brachilito. That is... Looks like one of the bracelets worn by the prisoners. This belongs to a certain model inmate. And it's broken. What? Just who on earth does this belong to? Eye laser. Frank saw it. The warden's favorite inmate. <laughs> oh, you've turned into a so this is basically drawing. Oh. 
Don't you think it's strange? He managed to keep this hidden while he moved around freely in his daily prison life. Well, shit, man. Oh, fuck. That's messed up, man. What are we talking about? I'd hazard a guess that this was just because uh, that this was the because he... drinking her tears. Ew, her special case, just like Siron Dogen in the prison <laughs> spell. The prison spell. The prosecutor's statement is mere conjecture. Objection! Huh? That's all I got. You could find out by simply asking Sarge himself. It is my firm belief that Mr. Sarge and Warden Roland were partners in crime. Due to their collaboration, another route surfaces. The real route by which Knightley's body was moved to the prison. There were two obstacles that needed to be dealt with. The security camera in front of Knightley's cell. And the electric fence in the courtyard. Both these problems could have been solved with a single stroke. By having Sarge switch off the breakers in the breaker room. Hold up. Mr. Edgeworth, could you wait one moment? Okay. Do you still intend to deny it, Warden Roland? I give in, I confess. Warden Roland! No, this cannot be! Yes, it is just as he says. Frank Soliet and I were partners in crime. No way! You did it, Mr. Edgeworth! The case is over. I'm well done, going Miles. Home. At last, we have the real culprit cornered. Now and he's Zap Brannigan. Said, he was Zap Brannigan earlier today, so that's yeah. fine. Frankie operated the... Frankie? Which one was Frankie? Frank saw it. Oh, Frank's Frankie, it's weird. Okay. Uh, he operated the breaker. But we were not responsible for Nightly's murder. What? What? Warden Roland. Whatever do you mean? Just Courtney, would the goddess of law hear my confession? The goddess of law is merciful. She will absolve you. I was being threatened. That's why I had no choice but to do as I was told. So, who- wait, who is threatening you? Sirhan Dogen, that assassin! Dogen? It's been going on since that man came to the prison. I will never forget that day. When we were both alone, he suddenly said to me, I have many dogs outside the prison. <laughs> D dogs? Loyal dogs who obey my every command. I soon realized that what Dogen referred to was not only really, not really dogs, but his human hand. And that's not all he said. He said he would eat my little foxy. You'd better watch how you treat me. If you don't want you and your family to become dog food. I had no choice. I gave him the special cell. I gave him anything he desired. Anything he desired? You don't mean the supplier? That's right. Anything he ordered, I would deliver to him. An underground dealership. I was the one who won over Frankie. It was simple. I just offered him special privileges within the prison. And these are... Once a week, the middle of the night, Frankie would shut off two of the breakers. So I could move from my office to the courtyard without moving... Or, sorry, without being seen by the security cameras. I would go past the fence and drop the goods down the well near the prison. And then it sprinkles its perfume over it. So, that's the true identity of the sweet scent. Perfume. The scent of the perfume was a signal for Dogen's dog. After for picking Dogen's up dog. the scent, <laughs> it would carry the goods to Dogen. Of course, this had to be done while Elbert was away from his cell. I'm surprised you never found out about it, pal. We have strict timetable here at the prison. Wait, so you knew that there was a hole from fucking what's his nuts to sell, and you didn't close that up? I, mean, I guess. I mean, because uh. she was using it too. I... Yeah. Nah. It's, it sounds like 
they like she installed the connection from the well to the prison for this purpose he was tunneling further mm -hmm. i wait i i thought the two ends of the tunnel were in his cell and in the fucking and then he tunneled over to nightly's why wouldn't they why would they why would she go all right i'll put it at the bottom of the well and then dig into this random prisoner's cell that is a fair question Mere time, exercise time. It is easy to know when uh, he's this. I didn't get to. Do he's that. away from his cell, that's all. Uh, and since little Rocky is afraid of dog as dog, I didn't have to worry about him making noise. So, having full knowledge of the prison's inner workings, she made the deliveries herself. This would have ensured that there were no slip ups. Thank you for turning the breakers back on early in the morning, and delivery was complete. Then. I then modified the timestamp on the security cameras. You have told us a great deal. The goddess of law accepts your pension confession. As the warden of the prison, how could I have done such a foolish thing? The day Knightley was killed, I was also a delivery day. It seems that Frankie was working in the breakers as usual, but that day I had nothing to send, so I did not go to the courtyard at all. The secret of the supply system. So then, Warden Roland was... The police have been searching for Dogen's henchmen for ages. I've also been helping them, but... I've been interrogating him personally in my office, but... No matter how much evidence we have on him, we can't get a single word out of him. So the reason you kept on interrogating him... Yes, it was to find his henchmen. I borrowed all the evidence from the police and carried out the interrogation myself. I kept an eye on all his actions and examined all of his mail. Mail? Like his correspondence chess letters? Oh, but I can never uncover the true identity of his henchmen. This fear, it's something you could never understand. They're following the chess movements because everyone is a chess pawn. Prosecutor Edgeworth, you were listening, right? Yes, no. <laughs> I'd say this confession clears the warden of all suspicion. Is it really necessary to press her further than this? Yeah. Is it necessary to press her further? Why not? Judge Courtney, my questioning isn't over yet. I'm sure the goddess of law isn't satisfied yet either. You mean to badger this woman further? Even if she was threatened by Dogen. This does not prove she was not the culprit in this case. She was able to use the supply route to transport Knightley's body. Do you have any evidence to support that? The body gave off a sweet scent. The scent of perfume that was used to signify a delivery. Can you explain this fact? Oh. Oh, of course. Since I had made so many deliveries, the scent would have lingered around the well. When the body was moved through the well, the scent would have transferred to it. Mr. Albert also testified to this fact. That's it. For some reason, that well gave off a nice scent. A nice scent? I don't know what it was, but it smelled sweet, like candy. The lingering scent in the well would, of course, be picked up by anything passing through. <laughs> the defense rests, I see. In that case, court is adjourned. Mr. Edgeworth, isn't there anything we can do? What should I do? Is this as far as I can go? Is it over already? Yes, Sebastian, it is. Smacks him. <laughs> Clonk. And now court is officially adjourned. Hold it! Oh, it wasn't me. I don't know. Who Probably was. Ray. <laughs> who was that? <laughs> Ain't I a stinker? <laughs> it's not nice of you to adjourn things just like that, Courtney Pie. Mr. Shields. Are you objecting to the court adjourning? <laughs> of course not. I ain't got no objection or anything like that. Go ahead and adjourn court. Do whatever you like. Hey, what are you doing, Mr. Shields? Whoa there, calm down, Gage. Who wants some chocolate? Is this a joke? 
You'll have to excuse me. I just have one tiny request to make as Simon Key's attorney. That's right, you are the defense attorney in charge of this case, aren't you? Exactly. Did y'all forget? That's so me. But you just left everything to Mr. Edgeworth and didn't do anything at all! Yes, that's right! That's why I thought I'd do my job a bit. Do your job? That hardly sounds like you at all. It's to prepare for the trial. I'd like to ask the warden a few questions. Surely you jest. What more would you expect to hear from her? Well, I'd like her phone well, number. <laughs> well, Miss Warden, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the culprit. My thoughts? Uncle Ray believes that Simon is not the culprit. It seems that Miss Warden also suspects someone other than Simon. I'd like to hear you out. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Shields up to? He's trying to lure Walden. <laughs> Sorry, I took a piece of his candy. <laughs> what was the supply route used to transport the body? I'd say. Oh, why was it? I'd say it was to pin the crime on Dogen. If he committed a murder here, he would be transferred to another prison, one with tighter security. And that would get rid of the troublemaker. Exactly. She wouldn't pass up a chance like that. Hey, hold on a sec! A culprit besides Simon? What do you mean? Simon was the one I was supposed to prosecute! He's so cute! <laughs> exactly! So wouldn't it be better if the best also listened to what she has to say? Uh, now he's the Mr. Jesus Christ! Yeah, no, that's fine. You managed to drag Mr. DeBest into this too? Warden Roland, is this acceptable? No. Oh, you! It's fine, it's fine. <clears throat> you understand a woman's heart. Thank you, mademoiselle. Actually, I have thought this over. I'd like to tell you my thoughts. You'll let me speak, won't you, Justine, darling? Of course, you may speak. Mr. Shields, awesome! Whew, that was a close shave. Thank you, Mr. You Shields. You haven't shaved in like three weeks. You should do something about that. No, no, I'm still leaving the rest to you. Remember what I said? Why do you want me to shave you? The defense attorney <laughs> never gives up. Thanks, Sim. The fate of our client rests on our shoulders, after all. It'd be uncool if Uncle Ray didn't put that into practice. They don't call me Uncool Ray. <laughs> then, Miles, You're right, your we don't. You're right, we don't. You'll never give up. Right. Well, then, do you listen to my story? No, guilty. Hold on, I just drank a whole lot of Sprite. I gotta burp myself. <coughs> okay. I believe that the culprit in this case could only have been Dogen. I have no idea what transpired between Dogen and the victim. It simply could have been that Dogen was displeased with him. In any case, he was the one who stabbed the victim to death. He probably had a dog dispose of the body. This is the truth of the case. The victim, Mr. Knightley, was it. I think it's a truly terrible thing. Taking a man's life, you mean? No! <laughs> That's how you'd go about saying it, isn't it? If only I had been more vigilant, his death would have not happened. That's why I want to clear up his regrets. Warden Roland, how considerate. I'm sure Mr. Light- Mr. Lightly in Cleneven. <laughs> <laughs> is overflowing with gratitude. Is gratitude really what Knightley feels? Probably not. Okay. No? I figured that it would be a dog can't possibly set up this fucking well trick. Nah, but I guess she did that. <laughs> For a sec, I thought they were gonna cut to Ghost Nightly. <laughs> if it's fucking dagger in the sky, I'm breaking this TCD in half. Oh my god. I would have <laughs> lost my mind. <laughs>
Do you mean to say the dog threw the body into the well? Dogen has more than one dog, not just that back one, you know. Didn't I tell you? He has henchmen outside these walls as well. You mean his henchmen outside of the prison aided him in this crime? Of course not. They would have been caught by the security gates. We have such good security here. But the dogs! We let them in and do whatever they want! But think about it, wasn't he the supplier? It's not hard to think he had dogs within the prison, too. Oh! Well then, why don't you tell me the names of these so-called dogs? Spot, If I knew Kiefer. that, I wouldn't have gone through so much trouble... Clifford! In it. <laughs> these are the dog names! Oh, I see. In any case, it is still a possibility. Please, try to reconsider it. She's dodging the question. Can I pursue this line of thought any further? Warden Roland's testimony is covered in lies. If I pick them apart one by one, her true colors will surely be revealed. She's gotta rip off every one of those caramel and chocolate covered coat layers. Mm. Oh, look at all the rings. Knightley was being held in the detention center, and Dogen was in the prison. They couldn't make any contact. Don't you think that would have prevented trouble? The prison is quite confined, right? There were many ways for them to meet. Knightley was murdered days before he would have been sentenced to prison. Surely there weren't many ways a meeting could have occurred. Even without a direct meeting, Dogen can still cause trouble. Mark my words. The... I don't... The... Them playing chess against each other? This this isn't really a contradiction. I don't think that contradicts anything. If anything, that suggests that they might have had a connection. What could Knightley have done in the detention center to displease him? This was just an example. You don't have to take it so seriously. Didn't I already say that I have no idea what transpired between them? Nevertheless. You certainly are a serious one, Edward, dear. What? What's this? That piercing gaze. Her fox. <laughs> oh, we're standing straight and stiff. Very nice. Looking very clever, my dear. I think I'm about to become your biggest fan. Wait a minute. I recognize that voice. Zip! It's old bag. <laughs> it's old bag. <laughs> no. Edward, stay focused. It's just a flesh wound. What? Right. Is this some form of psychological warfare? Oh! Work on robots. Oh, Captain Maybe. Bound and Double Iron. I'd like to hear your okay. I'd like to hear your thoughts about the circumstances surrounding the murder. Well, I suppose it was a simple job. During his booking, I learned that the victim had some kind of injury to his neck. He couldn't turn his neck to the right. So Dogen hates people see. who can't look to the right. <laughs> I remember him saying something like that. Booking. That's the process one undergoes before being locked up in the detention center. It sounds like you don't really know a lot about Knightley. I only know a little. In any case, he would have been an easy target for Dogen. Perhaps he used the chisel hidden in the chessboard? The victim wouldn't even know. He wouldn't even have had a chance to scream. I see. Your opinion will be a very valuable reference. Could you ask those last chess? Could you ask those last two tasks to your testimony? Oh, you're Could making you add me that mad. Ass you add those to the e. mm. I'm just kidding. I'll continue. <laughs> no, wrong. So is the issue? How did she know about that? I, I'm trying to remember if I, I guess it's it's hard. There's a lot. Yeah, she yeah. The metal detector. What about try, try presenting the chessboard? Yeah, Is I'm looking. Secret compartment. All right, it's, it's in the first one. Ah, oh, I'm the Ace Attorney Whisperer. <laughs> tap tap. Warden Roland, you certainly are sharp-witted. Uh, enough with the titles. Call me Patty. P A T T Y. <laughs> I'll call you Pate after I brush you into a delicious paste. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> Embarrassed. You're such an inexperienced child, Edward dear. Ga 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 Oh, little baby. Go, go, go. Get on, Mr. Edward. Goo goo. Don't let this voluptuous woman scare you. Rattle, rattle. You didn't. You said you didn't really know rattle, much about rattle, nightmares. Rattle, rattle. Release the cattle. <laughs> if that's the case, how did you know about this chisel inside the chessboard? Oh, uh, of course. Uh, the entrance check. Objection. Enough with the poor excuses. The entrance check? The chessboard wasn't something Knightley brought with him. It was brought to him later by Mr. Keys. He didn't even have it when he arrived here. That's uh, m uh, my mistake. I meant the parcel check. Objection! Die! <laughs> Even if we assume that, there are still many suspicious points. Why wasn't a chisel immediately confiscated? <laughs> Judge Courtney, did you tell anyone about the trick to this chessboard? I did not. <laughs> if no information about our investigation was leaked, then how did you find out? You could not have examined this during the entrance check or parcel check. Oh, she, she is gone. Someone. Oh, what? She read. Get that bitch back here. Someone in the warden's position would never have let a chisel slip by. Exactly. So answer this, Warden Roland. When and how did you learn about the chessboard secret? <laughs> in that case, I shall answer for you. It is because... Okay, okay. Hold it. I give up. Edwardian, it is as you say. Hmm? I interrogated Knightley. That is how I learned about the chessboard. But please believe me, I didn't kill anyone. Enough. It would appear that we have uncovered some vital information. I'll ask you to testify once more, if that's all right with you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. No objections here. Objection! Thank you, Edward. Come on! <laughs> I will do my best. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Well then, Warden Roland, I trust there will be no lies from here on out. Her pool of lies is slowly running dry. Soon I will bring out her true nature. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> All right, fucking Count Olaf. <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't go so far as to call it an interrogation. I always make sure to talk to all the new arrivals. Mr. Knightley, yes, we had a little chat. After our talk, he went right back to his cell, I assure you. She's piling lies on top of lies, not, reeling that it, not realizing it only attracts the flies. You speak with the new prisoners, you say. <laughs> That's right, I'm glad you understand. Objection! No one even commented on my rhyming. <laughs> <laughs> Your testimony is not solid evidence. It requires more than just understanding. Well then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, you may begin your cross-examination. Rebutal. Rebutal. If he really returned to his cell, there's no way he'd be a corpse right now. I know you're suggesting that I killed him during the interrogation, but uh, I couldn't possibly have had a motive to kill Knightley, could I? Dogen was the only one I hated. He had no connection with the victim. She only hated Dogen. Please add that statement to your testimony. I just didn't want him to finish his stupid chess game. Judge Courtney, I'd like you to have a look at this. It looks like a record of a chess game. Is there something wrong with it? Isn't chess fun, Judge Courtney? Don't you think everyone should talk about and have metaphorical chess lives? The fuck? I'm more of a checkers gal. What the fuck? <laughs> this was discovered in the victim's cell. It was Knightley's memo. Warden Roland, you also discovered this note in the very same place. And not just in Knightley Cell. Oh, maybe she thought he was one of his goons or something. But in oh. Dogen's too, correct? Hold it! Oh, what are you- Objection! Don't say you don't know about the chessboard in the special cell! 
After all, you would have kept an eye on Dogen's actions, down to the smallest details. No, to be more precise, it wasn't Dogen that you needed to keep an eye on. The warden was searching for Mr. Dogen's henchmen! From the start, I found it strange that the warden interrogated the prisoners personally. Since he used his henchmen to threaten harm to her family, Warden Roland interrogated Dogen to expose them. So, what are you saying? You inspected Dogen's mail and you must have known that he played correspondence chess. <laughs> and then Knightley appeared with a chess memo in hand. We deduced that he and Dogen were connected. You must have arrived at the same conclusion as well. However, you went one step too far in your reasoning. You thought Knightley was one of Dogen's henchmen who had come to kill you. So that's why you interrogated Knightley, boy. If the boss won't crack, go after his henchmen. In addition, you discovered something when you were interrogating him. Inside his chessboard, you found a portable chisel. The murder weapon. To Warden Roland, the chisel was a symbol of Dogen, and that was the final straw. You believed Knightley was one of Dogen's henchmen, and you killed him in the most ridiculous manner possible. <laughs> it seemed there will be no rebuttal. Judge Courtney, your verdict. Though it is incredibly unfortunate, there seems to be no room for doubt. I shall announce my verdict for the murder of Horace Knightley. I'm just here. Twice my sacred verdict has been interrupted. Who was that? <laughs> Warden Roland. <laughs> oh, I just How noticed that it, it shakes its little fist. <laughs> you guys really don't understand anything. You would seem the one who doesn't understand is you. Me? <laughs> she has great portraits. She does. <laughs> God, I love that. <laughs> when she's cornered, she starts spouting nonsense. Pay it no heed, Judge Courtney. Your verd. Okay. Overruled. I am interested in hearing what the fuck is going on here. What? I thought so. I just have one thing I want to say. Oh, one? Wow! That's a Please number! <laughs> That's the highest number I've ever heard! Please, take a good look at the autopsy report. The autopsy report? The one I brought with me? I heard exactly what you said earlier, Justine darling. You said the wound was four inches deep. Four inches... No, no way. That's a <laughs> higher that's number than one! Fuck! You were right! <laughs> Could that tiny chisel really have made a wound four inches deep? <laughs> Impossibly! How could I have made such an error? Oh, forgive me, goddess of law! No! I believe that overturns your hypothesis! What will you do now, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do we do? Oh, I'm here too! <laughs> Calm down, dogs! <laughs> My dogs are getting grugged! <laughs> Whoa, hey now, he's gone all white. Hey, you're a defense attorney, aren't you? Isn't there something you can do, pal? Do that turnabout thing! Make some earth-shattering objection! Uh, Uncle Ray's a hard worker, but without decisive evidence, we're just whipping a dead horse here. Does that mean it's hopeless? Hmm, yes, game over. Let me go into my mind room. The true killer is Warden Roland. If it's not her, then nothing that's happened fits. But the chisel isn't the murder weapon. Are there any other sharp objects here? I'm Sebastian DeBest. Stab, stab. <laughs> there are still many mysteries remaining in this case. However, we do not have the evidence to solve them at the present time. Is it the holding thingy for the device? Yeah, that's what it is. We have no choice but to continue this Objection. battle in the courtroom. Objection! <laughs> that would just give the killer a chance to destroy Overruled. Evan. Overruled. Are you mocking the court? 
No, 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 no. no. I, I didn't mean anything like that. You look perplexed, Mile. Thought of anything yet? The chisel is not the murder weapon. In that case, what is? It's no use! We're back to where we started. No objections, Prosecutor Edgeworth? By the way, any baseless statements will be punished accordingly. It's no good, I can't think of anything! I need more time. If only Old Bag were here, I regret to say I'd have no care. No! Mr. Edgeworth, remember what Mr. Shield said. If we give up, Simon will- He said you suck. <laughs> he said you suck. Have you forgotten that sad look on his face? Wait a baby boy. He was the one who suffered most from Knightley's death. If we can't save him, who will? Besides, Simon believes in us, so we can't give up. Okay. It's <laughs> just like little Kay says. Whenever you're backed into a corner, think of your client. Keep fighting until the bitter grug. Isn't that the reason you did it? Oh, my favorite fantasy tavern. Ruggery, your old man. My favorite fantasy tavern. The bitter grog. The bitter, <laughs> bitter grog. Oh my god, that reminds me. I have that bottle of bitter grog. I forgot to finish. No matter what trouble he faced, he would always turn things around and... Fly. You got his blood in you, right? Ruggery! In that case, you're the only one who can turn this around. <laughs> Judge Courtney. Uh, the look in your eyes has suddenly changed. If you don't, if you do intend to speak, you'd better be prepared to face the consequences. Your logic thus far has been misplaced numerous times. Yeah, well, call me black, pot. If this were to happen again, I will consider you unfit to call yourself a prosecutor. And you will hand over your badge. That's right. My re my reasoning about this case has indeed been misplaced numerous times. Have I made a grave miscalculation? Wait, my logic is misplaced. Have I made a grog miscalculation? <laughs> Still silent. I cannot contone this waste of time. Give me a second! Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Edgeworth! We need to cross-examine the alligator's logic. stomach. That's it. I have to turn my logic around. My logic isn't misplaced. It's been misled. This court finds the defendant, Simon Key. Objection, first of all, you're not a court. Isn't it a little early to hand down a verdict? Actually, I think it's rather late. Don't you agree, Justine, darling? What the fuck do you want? What? Try to remember. The eyewitness account about his dog and his absence from the animal show. When I first heard that information, my suspicion immediately fell on Doge. Okay, all right, fine, that's fine. Oh, the rules, I'm amazed. You take such pride in retelling Hold your previous it. failings. Hold it, you did too, Jesus Christ. But was that not the killer's aim? If we assumed at the start that was their intention, of course. The chisel served the same purpose. Hmm? Knightley's body was stabbed in the same spot with multiple sharp objects. This shows that he was stabbed with the chisel after the real murder weapon was removed. By soaking the chisel in Knightley's blood, the killer wanted to mislead us into thinking the chisel was the murder weapon. Why? Well, that's because... Why did the killer want us to think the chisel was the murder weapon? It's Ezra's. Are you fucking stupid? Warden Roland, you made use of this chisel's image. Chisel's image? What are you going to say? Hold it. Mr. DeBest, when you see this chisel, what does it suggest to you? Uh, what is it DeBest something do? like Dogen is the killer, right? Now do you understand? That was the warden's aim. Ah! She wanted us to suspect the person with the chisel. Oh my god, this drink is so gross. What are you drinking? Remember that fucking rat that existed? 
Bitter Krug, that's it, man. It's Bitter Krug. Are you drinking that can of Babby? <laughs> no, it's funny. Indeed, that was her plan from the very beginning. To make Siron Dogen out to be the killer. Okay. I understand your logic. It is true the Warden did not think kindly of Dogen, but you understand, don't you? This alone does not prove she is the killer. As I thought, it's not enough. The remaining chance, Chansuda, is to find the real murder weapon. If you have no more evidence, I believe this conversation is over. Please let Objection. me go home. My shows are on. I will not. I could prove it if I found the real mur- Okay, well. It doesn't matter what you say. We did a clean sweep of the place. It is as Sebastian says. In the end, we could not find any weapons. In other words, such proof is impossible. Objection! No. The murder weapon must still be somewhere in the prison. As long as this exists. All right, everyone, line up. We're going through the gate. The security gate? Hm. You remember its name after all. Are you mocking me? It's because of those things that you... You can't take metal objects in or out of this place. <gasps> Every time he does that, I'm imagining him pressing a little button on his temple that <laughs> fires the eye lasers. Right. As long as those security gates exist, the murder weapon should still be here. That also means no weapon could have been brought into the prison. In the end, we're back to the same mystery after all. Judge Courtney? Prosecutor Edwards surely <laughs> realized the real murder weapon is still in the prison. One must also consider how it got here in the first place. The chisel was concealed within the chessboard, but the chisel is not the real murder weapon, which means the real murder weapon must have been smuggled in somehow. The way it was smuggled in, can you prove that? Uh, no. How Warden Roland brought the weapon into the prison. You had evidence transferred from the precinct. Crikey! <laughs> That's it! She could have used that! This shows another way the weapon could be brought into the prison. Uh... No... Was it like how the chisel was inside the dog's mouth? Because it's, it's probably it's... in the alligator, right? No, I, I think yeah, you no, and I. I think, she brought, I mean, the I think that's the next implies, thing. We're we're a little too the, far ahead thinking about the alligator. The flashback implies that um, it's that she brought it in. It was like evidence from one of his case. Mm. Yeah, and I'm having a hard time seeing what would be that. No, no. Uh. Probably. I mean. Well, yeah, it's a chessboard. I guess. <laughs> Professor Edgeworth. Yeah. What? Indeed. With this, even something metal. <gasps> okay. Well, that's fine. Overruled. Exactly. How does that let metal objects be brought into prison? Sorry, I have short-term memory loss right now. Oh. Mm. All right. Sorry to let you down. So, there really isn't a way to bring metal objects into the prison? No, there is. I, th I mean, I don't see what would be wrong with the thing I just... Besides... Oh, oh besides okay, sending it in, in a chat. package. Someone in chat had it, actually. Go ahead and tell me. It's the bell, because that was from previous evidence. Oh, yeah, all right. Well, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fl flip to the bell. It says the knife has been confiscated. Meaning she took it. Mm. Ah. Yesterday, Dogen said this. Aram. Yes, my bells. There are only two in the world. Only They're custom made, attached to my knife and Anubis's collar. Even though I can only rely on my ears, I can easily identify them. Alas, one has been confiscated and is not in my possession. It's possible the murder weapon was brought in as confiscated evidence. Ooh, what? Oh, 
Joey. Dogen's knife was confiscated and stored on the premises. Therefore, a bell was attached to the knife. It can't be. The bell on that chisel. Exactly. The killer took it from the knife and reattached it to the chisel. But the only fingerprints on the chisel are Nightly's. She wiped it away with her fox. The killer probably wore gloves when they made the switch. She made the chisel out to be the murder weapon by attaching Dogen's bell. In doing so, it made Dogen appear to be the culprit. Furthermore, the handling of the set of evidence that this bell originally belonged to <laughs> was only possible for someone with the proper authority. Anyone have any questions? Oh, no! <laughs> Why don't we ask the warden what she thinks? Hold it, you... You can't find bells anywhere. Or, sorry, you can find bells anywhere. Anyone would have attached it to... Objection! <laughs> no. Hmm. I see. So you don't know Shut how. Up. These, Shut up! These bells are Dogen's... How do you not know this after all the research you've done into him? There are only two in the world. And so, attaching the bell would, naturally, make you the killer. Hold up! Do you have evidence that I can the knife? You don't, do you? Hold it! Of course! I understand. In that case, Mr. DeBest, I'd like to request an investigation, immediately. Uh, uh, but if you find it, it'd be problematic for me. That doesn't matter now! It is necessary that we get? reveal the truth! You are a prosecutor, are you not? Well, even if you say that... Curse this useless prosecutor! If only I still had investigator. Besides... If only I still had extraterritorial rights! Yeah. Besides, we can't investigate without the warden's permission. Right. There's no way she would approve. We have no choice but to investigate ourselves. If you don't have evidence, there's no use in continuing this conversation. The goddess of law does not smile upon those with no evidence. I... This will have to be continued in the courtroom. I don't understand why she has the authority to deny them searching her place. It's not good. If we give the warden more time here, she'll definitely destroy the evidence. Seems like I have no choice but to raise an objection and stall for time. <sighs> but I don't have anything def... definite? Def... definite, yeah. Is that really <laughs> acceptable? <laughs> Is it really like me to do something this reckless? Oh, no, not good. Now is not the time for hesitation. Right now, I'm not a prosecutor. I'm an attorney's assistant, which means I'm an idiot. I need to protect my client. I'm the only one who can save him now. In that case, even if it's a one in a million chance, I have to take it. It's sink or swim. Should I raise an objection? Thematically, yes. It almost feels like I've turned into a certain bluffing defense attorney. But right now, I can't come to a... You know, we're not allowed to actually say the name Phoenix Wright in any of these You can't spin say his name! Not after what he did to the muggles. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> it almost feels like I'm turning into the blue-suited guy. <laughs> but right now, I can't come to a standstill. Objection! Don't even dare move, you bitch! Hold it! <laughs> I just realized something. You want to tag in for Siv until she shows up again? What would that be, pray tell? Nailed it. Naturally, the whereabouts of the real murder weapon. Dugan's Nave. <laughs> Dugan's Nave. Dugan's Nave. Is that really true? Yes. Though it is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> So no. I find, that hard, I find that hard to believe. This isn't a bluff, is it? Hmm. You underestimate me. The word bluff does not exist in my dictionary. Oh, this is bad for my heart. No. <laughs> There's no way you could know, because such a thing doesn't even exist. Well then, could you enlighten us? Where is the real murder weapon? Think. Think. Somewhere in the police, uh, somewhere the police didn't look. A blind spot in this animal-filled prison. A hiding place the warden would have complete confidence in. <laughs> hiding place? Come to think of it. Mm. 
Man, I'm kind of bummed they're giving us this many hints. Since two of us figured it out a while ago. The same method. Oh, it couldn't be, could it? But there aren't that many ways to hide things from an investigator's eyes, unless they're the best, in fairness. Hmm. Prosecutor Edgeworth, how long do you contend to keep us waiting? It's possible, but I'm taking a big gamble here. The place where the real murder weapon is hidden is here! Take that. Here in the courtyard! Indeed! That's not enough information! Please show us more in detail! Where is the real murder weapon hidden, you light git? You milk drinking fleecy! That's it. Back then, when I met the blue-suited man. The blue-suited man. What's the matter, detective? Looks like the metal detector is reacting to this alligator. Surprising how many times the metal detector has found the, defi <laughs> the decisive murder weapon. Of course, that's why the metal detector reacted. Judge Courtney, I'd like you to take a look at this. The chisel. Wasn't that just the fake murder weapon? Dogen hid this chisel inside his dog's mouth, and the real murder weapon was hidden in very much the same way. I'd like you to open your mouth, Warden. No! Warden Roland. The real I... murder weapon is in the pond inside the alligator. What? What? We can confirm the metal detector reacted to the alligator. Judge Courtney, please, have the insides of the alligator examined. I give my consent. I don't think you get to decide. <laughs> we'll have to call a veterinarian. I can make a, that little girl open her mouth. Oh, can I help? Yes, go ahead. Just I'm here too! Bites her fucking arm off. Please, God. Warden Roland. Discovering the real murder weapon will settle this matter once and for all. Why don't you do the honorable thing and confess now? <laughs> I, I, what would I have to confess? In that case, you can just wait for your fate to be sealed. <laughs> ah, we found it, sir. It's a Game Boy SP. Just where you said it would be. It's over. Patricia Rowland. The real murder weapon is none other than Dogen's knife. And the one who murdered Horace Knightley can only be you! <laughs> Dogen was the evil one. I didn't do anything wrong! I was completely risking That guy was one of Dogen's henchmen! Him! Him only he had never come to my home! I... I could still be happy! My special paradise! You really did all of it! Him! That no good assassin! Him! Him! We got it! Anyone else weirded out by her coat? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Mr. De Best of the Best, we have the results! De Best of the Best? Looks like even the forensic officers have it tough. We found traces of Knightley's blood on Dogen's knife. It was just like you said. You're the best, Mr. De Best. Alright! Good job! But don't stop there, keep the praise coming! Yes, sir! You're so incredible, it brings tears to my eyes! From sorrow? Well done, Sebastian. Next comes the follow-up investigation. Huh? What are you talking about, Justine? Hasn't the case been solved already? Have you... We have not yet confirmed if Knightley truly was one of Dogen's henchmen. Hmm... There's also a chance that Warden Roland jumped to conclusions. Uh... oh... oh? That is the remaining uncertainty in this case. Uh... uh... Anyway, uh, let's keep investigating. I like- I'm really hoping this guy's just playing stupid and is the main antagonist somehow. Mm -hmm. 
gonna be excellent. Hey, I you there! Cecile. Come with me! Since I'm the best, the truth will appear before me first. When that moment arrives, make sure you don't miss it. Yes, sir! I'm looking forward to witnessing your first great ability! Let's go! Da -da 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 we live in troubling times, wouldn't you agree? I said... Oh, sorry. The would-be assassin of the president was found murdered in the prison. Knightley had not planned to assassinate the president. The truth is not as vital as you seem to believe it to be. What? What? You're a judge. Not to the world, and not to the law. That can't be right. Believe what you will, however... As long as Prosecutor Edgeworth remains a prosecutor, it is an inescapable reality. A prosecutor is not someone who demands a guilty verdict. That is what I believe. Oh, really? Because a few years ago, I'd say you Those were full of shit. Okay. Hmm? Those are merely your values. The law is not the plaything of any one person. If you will not submit to that, you will do well to prepare for the consequences. What's that supposed to mean, pal? Don't tell me you're gonna... Shh. No tears now, now only dreams. This is where I must take my leave, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Enchanté, bitch. There was, a, there was one bit at the start of her introduction I think you would have really enjoyed, Aram, which is just like, That's right, I'm one of the members of the Prosecutorial Committee. You must defeat all of us before fighting King Prosecutor. <laughs> Judge Courtney is right. The law should not serve any one person's desires. However, if the truth is bent as a result of that... <laughs> Fucking gumshoe's ready to tussle. Can that really be called justice? Ugh, <laughs> uh, oh, you... What happened? They said you could come out already? Well, uh, honestly, I don't know for sure. How old are they? 24. Oh yeah, they are the same age. That's so weird. All of a sudden, they were like, you're free to go, and you should thank Mr. Edward. Well, that's because he found out who the real murderer was. I love that monkey's expression. It's so cute. Really? He did? Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Even if you glare at me like that, it's useless. I'm innocent after all. You can't make me guilty. Simon, Simon, you should thank him, you know. Ooh, you're, you're right. Thank you very much. I want to thank you, too. Good grief. I hate all of you. Uh, um, Mr. Defense Attorney, can I ask you just one more question? The bill will be in the mail. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, fuck! Yes, you may. But I'm not a defense attorney. I thought that Knightley and I were friends. No, I meant best friends. I always thought that we were... You don't think so anymore? Well, I, I'm just wondering if there are some things I had no idea about. Like how he could hate someone enough to kill them. That's why maybe he never trusted me either. Simon, that's not true. You're lying, because if I had known, I would have stopped him. I would have told him he had no need to be angry with anyone. Mr. Keys, I don't think he disliked you either. Let's show him proof that Knightley trusted him. Take that! His blood. <laughs> Sorry, gave me. Mr. Knightley hit a cheesel, a cheesel in the side of it. <laughs> the cheesel of a cheesel. Weasel. <laughs> Most likely to aid his escape. Escape? He used me? <laughs> he trusted in you. He knew you'd bring it to him without looking into it and without question. So, yes, by definition, he used you. Like a pawn, you see. Do you play a lot of chess? And in doing that, no, you were caught I'm up in everything. Kind of guy. <laughs> Knightley, you stupid fucking bastard! I like that his expressions are hear no evil, see no evil, say no mm. evil, speak Looks no Looks like he gets it. Simon's not as dumb as he looks, after all, which is a fucking scathing remark coming from Regina Berry. I'm sure I'll be back to normal night tomorrow. 
Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> I'll be strong. I'd give a splendid wild animal tamer for thy least sake. I don't think he'd give a shit. <laughs> okay, all right. Stop doing that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, you're, you're continuing to do it. Oh, 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 if you'd like, please come to our next show. I wouldn't. Oh, good. It's my best friend, Max Galactica. I'll also be performing <laughs> it. Oh, it's me! The very big circus is always fabulous and fun for all ages. Oh, that's how I got murdered. Well, wow, that sounds like fun. Let's go, Mr. Edgeworth. Well, I'll think about it. Immediately throws it in the waste bin. Eats it. <laughs> hmm. Hang on, let me fax this to some of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to get back to practicing right away. You'll be with Regent today. Ah, the tiger! No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. It'll be fine. He's a good boy. No, 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 wait. There's no way it'll be fine. He left. Please cut me a break! Ah! And there they go. He's dead now. The... Man got eaten He's by dead. <laughs> or, or, or. <laughs> but man, bravo, bravo. You really put on a good show today, Miles. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Shields. Without your help, she might have gotten away. Not to mention allowing us to continue the investigation. Oh, <laughs> cut it out. You're gonna make me blush. I never know when you're being serious. Never. And always. That's the mystery of life, kid. So how was it, Miles? How did it feel to be a defense attorney to save people? A defense attorney? What is that? <laughs> that really took me back. It was just like being next to your old man again. <laughs> it's been a while since I felt this good. It was... Well, it's somewhat difficult to say that it was a good thing. Come on, Miles. You sure you don't want to be a defense attorney? What? You know, pick up where your father left off. Don't you want to save people like he did? That's you, Aram. What are you talking about, pal? What do you mean we have the same voice? But is it really that unusual for a prosecutor to become a defense attorney these days? Unusual isn't the problem here. Hey, don't be so upset. It's normal, you know, normal. It's not! Normal, pal! <laughs> You'd all make for a powerful defense team. Mr. Shields, I am a prosecutor. And Uncle Ray is a defense attorney. That's why I'm being serious about this. <clears throat> Well, that's just my opinion. Feel free to drop by any time if you have a change of heart. I'll be waiting for you. I'm gonna go die in the fourth and fifth case, and we'll be the murderer. See you later. See you, kid. Follow in my father's footsteps. I have always wanted to asphyxiate in an elevator. Me, become a defense attorney. <laughs> I'm gonna become a defense attorney, just like my dad! Oh god, I gotta come up with a Gregory voice. Should I become a defense attorney? Like my father? No. <laughs> Game over. Guilty. That was like a Simpsons ending quote. <laughs> Should I become a defense attorney? No, it is the children who are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I said I wanted to preview the next case. I don't have the energy for it. Um, That's fair. So let's, let's call it here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading. Uh, that case was better than the first one, though I still yeah. think the Saw It stuff in the beginning could have been, like, completely cut into just dialogue instead of, like, obstacle courses the the second and third parts of that case were good though <laughs> examine the inside of the alligator is quintessentially ace attorney all right i don't know if we'll do this 